that, 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 that fierce. Why you think you're fierce? Hi my love, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited because we're going to be using a whole bunch of products that I barely use on my collection. You guys know we whore makeup. We love to whore makeup. And sometimes we forget about this stuff that we have. Anyways, if you guys are interested on that, stay tuned. You are tuning in today with Sassy. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome. We have a whole bunch of beauty stuff here in this uh, channel. So please subscribe if you're into that. But without further ado, honey, let's get right into it. Hi you guys. So today I'm actually going to be doing a full face of makeup that I barely use. I just want to grab those makeups that I haven't used in a very long time to kind of remind myself that they're still here and I should give them some love. I'm going to start with the brows because this is a product that I pretty much have on my collection and have not used it in a very, very long time. So this is the Carity Brow Goals, a 3-in-1 brow pencil. It brings a powder and a brush and then the brow pencil, that makes sense. And I honestly feel like I haven't used this in a while just because it has so much going on. Like it has a pencil, then it has a powder that I don't really even know how to use it. I'm just gonna use the pencil side my brows like I normally do. Brush them out. Another thing that I definitely don't like is that how thick it is. It's kind of hard to get like those precise lines. So let's go ahead and see how this. it's also really dry. <laughs> now that I'm using it, it's quite drying. And the color as well, you guys, you can definitely see how rich brown that is. So I think I'm gonna skip this one because it's gonna I'm gonna look insane. You know what I mean? Let me see if I can find another one. I'm gonna use this Morphe micro brow pencil this one i definitely love the tip of it i honestly never been a really big fan of pencils just because i feel like they're a little hard to work with like some of them don't really glide on easily like you have to kind of put a lot of pressure and when you have to put up a lot of pressure using a pencil your brows is not going to look complete like it's going to be so hard to get those precise lines when you have to put so much pressure you know what i mean <sighs> Ooh, I don't breathe girl. You guys see those little gaps? I'm actually gonna use the gimme brow and that's one another thing that I love about the gimme brows that it kind of fills in and create these fibers and it just makes your brow look so much fuller. It kind of cover out those little sparse areas. In case you have that, this is great stuff. Today is one of those days that I really don't feel like doing anything. I don't know if you guys have those days. I have them quite too often now lately okay so as always my loves i'm gonna start with the eyes and the palette that i have not used and kind of forgot about it is this palette right here the modern renaissance by edison really hills and i don't even know why because the colors are really nice i don't know like i just haven't been using i honestly feel like a savage because i feel like i always start with the darkest color of a palette anyways i'm gonna start with the shade seapruce umber which is one of the darkest shade in the palette I'm gonna go ahead and start working that on the crease. You guys know I always, this is nothing new. I always start on the crease, pack it on, and then blend it out. So let's go ahead and do that. Bring it back. Now that we got our first color looking a little crazy, I'm gonna go into the second color, and it's the red ochre. Ochre, I'm not even know how to pronounce that, but um, this is some sort of reddish tone shadow, and I'm gonna use that to actually blend following right here that we got going on. This looks insane right now, like I'm sorry guys, but let's go ahead and start blending now. now is to blend this craziness going on here let's go ahead and use the shade real gar and again we just back to blending basics you guys know the drill blending is key and then i'm just grabbing the lightest shade on the palette just to feather that out and kind of make the edges of the look a little bit more gradient effectish and of course you guys you can always go back and repeat the same step over and over till you have your desire kind of like blend and color and so on and so on okay now the best part for me you guys if you don't know this is to cut the crease i'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease my favorite brush to cut the crease is actually this brush right here from shop miss a is the a aoa studio e122 i've been dying to do another order from shop miss a but it's so hard to get all their quality good stuff because everything that's good is usually sold out so it's kind of sucks to be honest So I'm gonna start adding a little bit of this shade right here, which is a darker shade on the palette. I'm gonna start applying this on the outer of the eyes. Next, I'm going in with this shade right here, which is the red okay okay. And I'm gonna be applying these shades, you guys, right next to each other. And next, I'm gonna take the orange shade right here, you guys. And again, I'm just applying those shades right next to each other. Next, I'm taking the shade Burnt Orange, and I'm gonna apply that onto, again, right next to each other. All of them, I'm applying it right next to each other. 
And the last shade I use is Golden Okra, basically. I think that's what you call it. I don't know, this old gray, gray, group. Anyways, it's a completely matte look, as you can see, and I really, really like it. I think I want to add a little bit of shimmer, just like on the tear ducts. And I'm going to be using this one right here, which is Primavera, which to me means spring. So, so like that, you guys, just like right there on the inner corner. Hey, it's not bad, okay? And of course, you guys know, brow highlight on fleek. So I actually went in with this Aftershock palette from Shop Hush. Super affordable, super cheap, and scraped some of the yellow and added a little bit of drop of oil and mixed it up to create like a little liquid liner type of thing. And then I went ahead and created a half wing. And I also went back to the eyeshadow to actually set that wing because when you use oils in an eyeshadow, the eyeshadow will not, that liquid liner sort of thing that you're creating is not gonna set because there's oil in there. So uh, you're gonna have to go back and like reapply a matte, something that's, that mattifies it. So that's what I did. And then went back to the Anastasia Really Hills eyeshadow palette and added a little bit of the darker shade on the palette just to blend that back edge there. Honestly, not sure how I feel about it but you guys get the gist i always had to listen colors just my thing honey like okay and now we're going on to the lower lash i'm going to start with the darker shade always you know the drill and i'm placing this very very close to the lash line just going to smudge that all over there and then i'm going to smudge that line with the shade real girl which is the orangey looking shade and then i'm dusting the shade burnt orange one of the lightest shades that i use in the crease as well just to make sure everything is super blending like the edges of these lower lashes honey okay okay you guys and for my wet line i actually went ahead and used this red shade right here as well just because i want to add more color as always you guys know the drill and of course gonna be a sassy look if it doesn't have glitter you guys know i live for glitter we for glitter and i had to incorporate some sort of glitter in this look because this was so basic and this is fucking fierce right now so <laughs> Eyes are pretty much done, but we're gonna go on to the face now. For primer, something that I was using very, very often last year as well, and I haven't been using it lately, is this right here, the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business Skin Primer. And this was actually an oldie but a goodie. I, when I first got this, I was using it like non, non-stop, literally, you guys. Go ahead and use it now. And this is just a really nice illuminator and skin primer. Um, and I just really like it for my skin. You guys don't have dry skin, and I love that dewy look. The smell, it's so high-end. Like, I really, really like the way this smell i'm gonna let that sink into the skin and move on to foundation i don't like to keep products that are like extremely old so yeah that's one of the reasons why i don't have like foundations that i barely use this one yeah i barely use this to be honest like my most used foundation is the is the la girl foundation that's the one like i really really love like i can stop wearing the foundation actually i'm gonna be mixing this too so whatever and i want to do a video you guys where i mix products where like i mix a foundation i mix concealer i made i mix bronzers i mix eyeshadow shadows like a mixing video i'm mixing i don't know how what, it, what to call it which is why i haven't done that video so please let me know in the comments if you have any suggestion what should i call it what should i name it where it's a full face of mixing products basically i don't know well, let's go ahead and put this on the skin see how it works out for me because one foundation is lighter and the other one is way too dark which is why i mixed it and i'm gonna use my huge sponge that i love so much to blend this out this is actually like a perfect color oh my god when i mix them hmm, i might start mixing these too i wonder how they work and how long they will last if i start mixing them like i'm wearing them outside actually so might be testing that out today Ooh, this mix bitch i like it which one is oxidizing though but that's weird i feel like my skin is getting irritated Ooh, that area right there it's like burning right now this definitely might be my favorite duo you guys i feel like i have such a sensitive skin right here on this area and it's always on this fucking area and i don't know i don't understand what is it like this is itching so bad right now but this area right now both sides are like itching so bad I don't, i'm not sure why for concealer these are two of my favorite ones and it's something that i definitely haven't used in a while so i'm gonna go ahead and use this right here i barely use this one now because i have other other concealers that i really really like um this one is definitely like really really thick so i wouldn't use it like every day and i don't do my makeup every day anyway so so first i'm gonna bronze up the face just a little tiny bit this is nothing new you guys see this process i'm gonna fast forward next i'm gonna set the eyes with this bye bye pore press by it cosmetics another product from it cosmetics i really really like i don't know why i stopped using this or why i barely use it since this is such a fine powder like it goes so good with my my dry skin you guys so so good it's so fine 
that is sort of like melts into the skin it's, it's so it's amazing powder to be honest but i think it does have a flashback which is why i don't really use it so i have to look into that i kind of like forgot that's how long i have not been using this so another product that i freaking stopped i don't know barely use and i don't know why because it looks so good on my skin um, it's the Brontour Bronzer and Contour uh, by Morphe. It's like a two-in-one type of thing. It's like it's a bronzer that has a glow and a matte bronzer type of thing. It's so good. It looks so beautiful on my skin. So like I really really like this. And again, these are amazing products that I don't know why I've been using it. Oh my god! Like I'm so shocked right now. Anyways, moving on. I'm also gonna be using this CoverGirl Look Lack Up. It's another product that I really really like. Last year I used this heavily. And I don't know why I haven't been using it lately since I fucking love it. I don't know. I've been on a weird... I'm sure it's because I've been testing a lot, a lot of new products. But anyway, a product that I have definitely barely been using is the Rose Highlighter Collection Palette from Bad Habit. And this is actually, you can get it at Shop Hodge. It's a palette that I absolutely, absolutely love from Shop Hodge. Um, it's so good. It's so beautiful. And yeah, it's another thing that I, I don't have anything bad to say about this. It's so good. I love it. I don't know why I, I haven't been using it. It's it's so freaking good you guys and i think the last thing that we have to do is the lips basically and we're pretty much done with this look i'm so happy with it i like my creativity to be honest like it looks so cute you know even with the yellow liner that you can barely see there <gasps> my lashes like coming off <laughs> Thank you so so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I really had a lot of fun doing it to be honest. I love how it turned out. Maybe not your cup of tea, but definitely my cup of tea. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe, thumb up this video, and share it with a friend because it helps so so much. But without further ado, don't forget you have another video to watch. Right there, right there, these two right there. <laughs>